Welcome to round two, where we get to see the presentation round. We want these cupcakes to pop, to be visually appealing, where we want to take them and eat them up. We're going to go into the kitchen and see what our contestants are doing. It's going so far. It's only four minutes left. Not four minutes. Katie? It's going okay. Drew, how's your new cupcake coming? Good. Good. It's ready. It's ready. Okay. Drew was a very fast worker. All right. These other two no, no, are running no, no. under a minute now. The contestants trying to finish up their work. I don't know. How are you feeling about the time? I think I'm gone. So fast. Can't talk. Lexi, how are you feeling about the time constraints of this round? <laughs> a little tighter than I had expected. Uh, five, three, two, one. Hands up. Hands up. All right. Very... How are you feeling about that round? I'm feeling okay. I have a pretty good presentation in mind. Okay. Lexi, how are you feeling about the round? It's not the best work. There you Listen, go. mister. As you all know, Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka, <laughs> <laughs> has changed everyone's idea of what a world can be like. Why you be your sis? And I wanted to change your idea of what a cupcake has to look like. So here, I have for you a cupcake drenched in icing, not coated, not sprayed, not. Dipped, coated. No, it's not. <laughs> it's drenched. Let's see the cupcake. <laughs> I know we did it, nerds. Oh, very, very colorful. And Drew, okay, please there. present your cupcake. Um, there's, there, there, there's a, a skin on there, and there's ice on there, and I got a marshmallow, and this one said I got warm, and this one I just got first. This will be for you. Thank you very much. Which one is it? Is this one right here? Yeah, this one. Okay, thank you very Alexa, much. Contestant Alexa, please tell us about your cupcake. Well, my cupcake... Well, first off, Willy Wonka has made anything that's anything into candy or edible stuff. So I have changed everything that Excuse I me, what are you chewing? Gum. Did you bring enough for everybody? Yes. Please take it out of your mouth. It's disgusting. Now continue. <laughs> And so I have made, since Willy Wonka made a waterfall, I figured I could kind of do the opposite and raise it above and not be liquid, but be solid. And so so I, you have a solid waterfall going up instead of down. <laughs> no, it's a mountain. It's kind of the exact opposite of a waterfall. So the waterfall is liquid and goes down. It is solid and goes up. I understand. Okay. And I've coated it in icing and lovely fruit slices. And Skittles and Nerds and Sprinkles. Okay, please place it on the, uh, the, the tray here. I'm feeling Thank very you. unconfident because I like the idea, but it looked a little messy, and I wanted to add a little bit more flair to it, some more gummy worms. Drew's is Katie's. And, but that didn't end up being about right, so... You had a... I had, like... I wanted to change everyone's idea of what a cupcake had to be decorated as. So I think I did that. You do want that person. So I think I did that, but it could have been a little bit cleaner presentation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you think your cupcake's going to win this one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hair? No. Uh, Here, I'll get it. Oh, there it is. Here, I see it. Go, ah. Uh, oh, I see it. Here, hold on. Here. This is nasty. Ew! You did you get my first idea of a gum flower did not work out so well. And so my second idea didn't work out either. And I didn't want to do too much green, so I made a mountain of icy. Two. Round two presentation round. Correct. We have three cupcakes. We have... Drew, Katie, and Alexa. Yes. Drew's desert theme with the dying worm, not really that appetizing, so we'll just set that aside. Right. Katie's is a, as she said, it wasn't drenched, or uh, coated, it was drenched in icing with tons of Skittles smashed, in, or nerds smashed into it. It's very rainbowish. It kind of reminds me of a, 
Mushroom out in the forest, and it's more village, maybe. So those would be the pros? Yes. However, my con would be it's a little sloppy. So it'd be nice if the nerds were just pressed into it until they're just popping. Instead, they got icing covering them, so it kind of dulls the color a little bit. That's true. To me, it looks like a diseased cheese ball. <laughs> I think it's, um, it, you can't hold it. Um, it's, you're not even sure what it is, but it looks like it may be alive now. So, um, while it's very colorful and bright, um, I, uh, honestly, I see it, I, I fear it. And, um, so those would be the, the cons okay, on that. Okay, the cons. Uh, on Alexa's, <clears throat> um, it's supposed to be a mountain. Um, I, I have a little problem with the whole anti-waterfall analogy. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. I think yeah, she just stacked mountain. it up. She just said it's a candy mountain. That would have been good. I think so. I think trying to draw in the reverse waterfall mm -hmm. was was um, uh, really an insult to our intelligence. But there's um, good color on there. There is good color. I like the different uh, textures mm -hmm. and layers associated with it. Um, and I the think height. I like the height. The height is good. It does look appetizing. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, so, all in all, I think Alexa is the uh, takes round two. Okay. From a do you, would you concur? I would concur with that. Concur with that, yeah. Yes. I think it's um, it, it's appetizing. I, I struggle with the theme, but okay, excellent. Right.